you. All right. All right, boys and girls, are we ready for the third comedian of the night? by the way. Whoa, thanks. There you go. Great. Which is 75 in Dutch, by the way. <laughs> the Dutch do everything backwards if you haven't done that or not. If you don't know about your Dutch, everything's like 4 and 20 blackbirds. It's 24. It's, it's just a way to make you feel dyslexic. <laughs> and if you're not, you try to learn Dutch, and then you become dyslexic. <laughs> because the I, you know, I before E, except after C, unless you're saying something in Dutch, in which case, Please, Andre. <laughs> yeah, my name is Kratis. I am actually an American. Yeah, good idea. Appreciate that. You've read the news. Yeah. <laughs> Smart people. I like that. I'm not going to be American much longer. Actually, about two days ago, I got my approval. I'm going to become a Dutch citizen. Woo! I'll say no, an expat crap. Because <laughs> the Dutch are quiet for a moment. Then they're like, mm, all right, yeah. <laughs> Gotta be a supportive of this liberal concept. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've been living in the U.S. for most of my life. I was born there. Uh, my dad moved there after the war, and then I realized he was wrong. So I'm coming back. <laughs> and I was in Florida for like 20 years. And Florida is similar to the Netherlands in some ways because it like rains every day, and uh, you know they got a lot of deaf people. <laughs> well, it's it's different in some ways as well. You know, it's like. Uh, the weather, like I said, we don't, neither one of us have a winter, you know what I mean? And uh, of course, Florida is mostly summertime. And here we go from like spring to fall and then back again. Well, Florida's got an extra season in there. Uh, after summer goes for a while, they have a thing called fire season. <laughs> the fire season's fun. Fire season's exciting. Yeah, if you never really check the weather out, really curious what tomorrow's going to bring. If it's a fire, you know, Australian guy will tell you. It's exciting as hell. It's not really, you'll never complain about rain again. Once you've lived through fire season once, you know. Is it raining? Yeah, it's not going to be burning. Woo! <laughs> you know. And the nice thing about fire season, it lets into hurricane season. The first hurricane is great. It puts out the fires. The second and the third one, the fourth one, they realize, you know, maybe America's not really for me. Yeah. So I moved over here about 14 years ago, and we have a different version of weather. I don't know if you've noticed it or not, it's kind of Dutch weather. It's not bad enough to complain because you get no real sympathy for it. Like my favorite Dutch rain of all is Mizu, that little tiny rain that gets in your face because it makes you miserable. <laughs> One of the annoying things about Mizu is if you are on fire, it's not going to help. <laughs> it's going to be slightly damp and burning. But like in Florida, the different words, like they need different, it's a cultural thing. You know, like in Florida, we had to come up with a word for mass shooting. <laughs> it's funnier here than it is there, because it's, you know, and if you don't know it or not, a mass shooting is four or more victims. Yeah, it's, it's important. If it's only three, it's just a shooting. Nobody cares. A mass shooting. But here they had to come up with different words, you know. Like the, uh, the word of the year in 2009 was swafflin. If you don't know this is a Dutch word, it means to, to smack yourself uh, against something. Uh, women can do it, but they got to get a lot closer. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a guy in the Taj Mahal in 2009 in India, and he swaffled the Taj Mahal, and his friend videotaped it and put it online. And there was very little going viral back then, and uh, this did. And it became the word of the year, 2009 in the Netherlands. Yeah. Culture. 
<laughs> I personally prefer a culture that's in the swaffle and the mass shootings. <laughs> Everyone's got their own thing, you know? Of course, the one word that defines the Dutch is this uh, gazelle word, you know? Gazelle, I got it, right? I'm going to take a word of a second there. But Chazelle is that wonderful warm meeting that we do as a group, you know? It's like before this evening started, it's a sort of emptyish room. It wasn't that Chazelle? But as a group together, everyone's in here, we make this a wonderful warm thing. It becomes very Chazelle, assuming no one pulls out a gun. Because one gun makes the whole thing completely un <laughs> it's, it's a change of atmosphere in a big way. And uh, like I'm going through my life changes, anybody going through any life changes? All the same? I got it. <laughs> Remember in 2019, that was the uh, before COVID. You remember that dumb phase? That was a phase of uh, self-reflection, you know, self-improvement, spending a lot of time home, getting to know yourself, you know. Come out as a new Socrates, I figured this would be my time for new Socrates, you know, wake up to the world. And uh, it was in March 2022, I came back out to the world, excited again, it's very recently. <laughs> and uh, I got hit by a scooter. Yeah, I learned this Dutch word, ach, maybe. I don't know if you know it, it means to be slammed into. Yeah. <laughs> Just skip the details on that. Trust me, it's another story. It's not good. And uh, basically, I thought I was going to be new Socrates, but I ended up being Brokatis because I broke my arm badly and I had to go to the hospital, the house of Penasetamo. <laughs> They eventually did surgery, but they spent eight months and told me it comes good. I don't know if anybody's going to a doctor here, but comes good is what they always tell you. And eight months later, I thought, okay, fine, I'll have surgery. I'll become new Socrates, you know? But no, 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 I, I turned necrotic. Yeah, necrotis. <laughs> it's a sucky thing. I don't know if you know the word necrotic. It's a good Greek word. It means to die. You never want to hear your doctor point at you and go necrotic. It's bad. It's a bad thing. And then, I, so I finally got another surgery, so I thought, now I'd be new to Socrates, you know. No, no, no. In August, I had a stroke. Yeah. Stroke Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's like every day is a new experience because, you know, my memory's a little shot. And, uh, but it's fun to do these things because everything is sort of now therapy, no matter what you do. You get out of the chair, it's therapeutic. Yeah. Talk to somebody, it's therapeutic. Remember your joke? It's therapeutic. <laughs> You forget your joke. It's therapeutic in a different way, you know what I'm saying? And I gotta tell you, the mustache is definitely captivating. <laughs> you guys will find out about it soon. All the other comments are wondering about it right now. Because I was curious back there. Where are you from, by the way? Was that? England. You're here, on, you're here with a Norwegian. So you, you owe him. You owe him. Yeah, I don't, I don't doubt that. You know why there's 90 days and your ass has got to go back. So, England and America are showing the brilliance of making good decisions. <laughs> yeah. The Europeans used to do it. Well, I guess England's not really part of Europe, is it? No. It's its own country, its own continent, which is kind of impressive, you know? It's like America's getting cut off from the rest of the world slowly by our own hands. It's not good. I hope you're not following any of that, by the way. <laughs> But anyway, so one of the things that happened after I had my surgery, because now I have a huge uh, scar here, can't really show up, it's like, it used to get tattoos, I didn't get tattoos, but didn't get tattoos, this is sort of my version of a tattoo, it's just line work though. You know, for a while it was really shaded, for a while, but uh, I finally got a reverse uh, prosthetic in my shoulder, so where I used to have a socket, now I have a ball, and where I had a ball, now I have a socket. So it's possible I have a uh, trans shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> And again, I'm trying to get in shape too. It's a hard thing with everything going on. I mean, I'm in a shape, but it's like a shape of a Yeah, I identify as a woman who's like seven months pregnant. <laughs> Can't decide what the name of the thing though. Beer chip. Halo. And it was a good one. But uh, so basically, I think you know we all come to these comedy events. Uh, First person to come here, this is your first show, is that right? You come here to learn. This is a bunch of, and I'm sure you're learning so far. We've learned about war, we've learned about peace, we've learned about health. Good proving. <laughs> you find out. Yeah, that's the truth, yeah. And I find out, what I was told when I started doing comedy is that comedy is a lot like sex. 
And the more I do it, the more I think it's true. Because yeah. I was really excited to come here. <laughs> And now that I came, I'm definitely a little hot. I'm self-conscious, but if I get my energy, I'm going to come again soon. Thanks so much, you guys. Are great.